गुड मॉर्निंग संदीप वेक अप हाँ गिव मी फाइव मोर मिनट्स कम ऑन संदीप वेक अप यू हैव वीडियोस टू शूट हाय फ्रेंड्स आई एम श्योर यू फेल लेजी टू गेट आउट ऑफ बेड एंड स्टार्ट योर डे राइट बट डोंट फील गिल्टी अबाउट इट बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू फिजिक्स ऑल बॉडीज फील लेजी इन फिजिक्स द लेजीनेस ऑफ अ बॉडी इज कॉल्ड इनर्शिया and that's going to be the topic of this video let's understand the concept of inertia with some simple examples if you try pushing a big table it's difficult to move it right we need to apply a very large force to move the table why is that the table has a natural tendency to resist a change in its state the table is at rest it's stationary so it wants to remain at rest it's lazy it doesn't want to move this is called inertia of rest now if you consider the example of a moving ball what do you need to do to stop it you need to apply a force as you saw here i applied a force to stop the moving ball otherwise it will keep on moving right obviously we are ignoring the air friction here another example is a rocket in space that wants to keep on moving it does not want to stop the ball and the rocket they are lazy to change their state of motion this is inertia of motion does everything have inertia the answer is yes so basically everything is lazy now do all the bodies have the same inertia what do you think the answer is no so what does inertia depend on let's find out consider the example of a shopping cart and a train let's say both are at rest which one do you think has more inertia think which one will be more difficult to move obviously it is more difficult to move the train as compared to the shopping cart as the train is much more heavier than the shopping cart so inertia depends on the mass of the body greater the mass greater will be the inertia in fact we say that mass is a measure of the inertia of a body and the same also applies if both the shopping cart and the train are moving let's say they are moving at the same speed which one do you think is more difficult to stop the shopping cart or the train again the answer is the train right you don't want to be standing in front of a moving train because it has greater mass so it has greater inertia of motion so remember greater the mass greater will be the inertia whether you talk about inertia of rest or inertia of motion sir isaac newton first described the concept of inertia in his famous laws of motion in his first law of motion he stated that an object at rest will remain at rest and an object in motion will continue to move at a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force in other words an object's tendency to resist a change in its state of motion is called inertia and remember as we discussed greater the mass of the object greater will be its inertia that is why the first law is also known as the law of inertia Are you ready to see a tablecloth magic that's based on this law of inertia? Here it is. Ready? 1 2 3. Did you like the magic trick? Luckily, I didn't drop any of the objects on the table. Now can you tell me the objects on the table were they in the inertia of rest or inertia of motion? What do you think? Do let me know your answers by putting it in the comments below. I'm looking forward to reading your answers. So next time you're feeling too lazy to get up and start your day, remember that it's just your body's natural tendency to resist change. But with a little push, you can overcome that inertia and accomplish great things. Now if you consider the example of a moving ball, what do you need to do? <laughs> what do you need to stop it? You need to apply a force as you saw here i applied to i don't got so come on 
leave your energy of rest, move your hand and hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and do share it out with your friends. Thanks for watching.